training camp's right around the corner. And I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, well, about three players. And I'm sure I could, go, I could mm-hmm. ask you about a million players, but I'll just ask you about three real quick. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. is anybody really going to trade for Kevin Porter Jr.? Like, for, is, is, is that juice worth the squeeze, whatever the Rockets are looking for, in draft compensation worth the financial manipulation or whatever of his contract? It's like, they just going to waive this dude, right? Like, he's done, right? Just want to he should be, but there. It, there, okay. there, there's – there's always a weird team somewhere who thinks that they can yeah. rehabilitate somebody and everything else, even if the player. Oh, they shows trade. No oh, they trade for him. Be. Oh, they trade for him to actually have him on the team. I thought they were gonna trade for him just for his contract or whatever, you know, like just for the books and get the draft compensation as a sol- as doing a solid to Houston. Somebody actually would trade for this dude to try to rehabilitate him. I'm not. I'm not saying somebody. Or I'm his image. Or his I'm image even. By- I'm not okay. even saying it from a, like a position of knowledge. I'm just saying there's always oh, okay. there's always there's weird always things one. and all weird. It, and all it takes always is one. one. That's all, all it takes. takes is one. All right. Uh, I was really gonna ask you about Harden and uh, Lillard and how funky training camps get in uh, Philadelphia and Portland, respectively. Well, one person we know that does not mind being uncomfortable is Daryl Morey. <laughs> In Philadelphia, because he ain't got a coach yeah. and he ain't got to be out there. And and the people business ain't exactly his business. One person who we know that does not mind making anybody uncomfortable is Mr. James Harden. OK, he can. So I know where you going. Present. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you about, know where you about to be for training camp. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe I'll pop up there for a couple of days. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think. That James would mind making things a little uncomfortable, making a stink. You know what I mean? Dame little yeah. Dame is in a com- completely different situation. And if I had to guess, and I'm not speaking from a position of don't aggregate me or nothing like that. But if one deal was to get done out of those two, I'd probably say it would be Dame go- Dame getting out of Portland before I would see James Harden getting out of Philly. Because there is a long-standing relationship that the Portland Trailblazers have to be able to maintain with Damian Lillard, because if you think of their two franchise players before here, Bill Walton, Clyde Drexler, you don't see those guys around that franchise. And there has to be some level of relationship when a player is done playing, especially if he's going to stay in that area and be a part of that community. Like you've got to be able to work through the hurt feelings and everything right now and and say, look, what's best for us is what's best for you. And that's getting up out of here. And I don't think that the Trailblazers want to want to make it, but so ugly with Dame. That's all. Yeah. That's that's what I would think. I would think. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll be uh, talking about a a streaming series or wherever we watch content about the uh, about James Harden or about you know failed experiments or player empowerment or Damian Lillard. But it still won't be as good as winning time. I'm oh, I'm sorry. I might, I might go start it over from scratch. Me, me and you, we go like we go watch it. We go, we go text about it. I can't believe it's our first time talking about this. We go do a rewatch of Winning Time. A rewatch episode by episode. (laughs) A rewatch requiem for for Winning Time. There you go, Uh, my main man. I loved Quincy Isaiah as Magic Johnson. He captured the essence of Earth. Dude, he he nailed it. He nailed. They nailed Cookie. Like I mean, I don't even know these people, but I I mean, I I I fell in love with them all. Like in a way that I didn't even as 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 fans from afar. I'll introduce you sometime. Um, that's Quincy Isaiah as a star. Um, and that was no small undertaking to, to, uh, to play Magic Johnson. Hey, thanks so much for kicking it with your main man, Michael Smith. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, but also subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcast. Rate it, review it, tell your friends about it. Oh, and be sure to follow me on social media.